the right bacterial crew can supercharge our immune cells against tumors, get busy influencing various cellular signaling pathways, particularly those that deal with inflammation and immune responses. Its ability to launch a multi-front attack on harmful microbes, making it a tough opponent for even the most drug-resistant bad guys. This might be just why these microscopic troublemakers gut health, it turns out, is kind of a big deal. Not just for making sure our meals don't give us a hard time, but it's also surprisingly linked to a whole bunch of other things happening in our bodies. First off, digestion is the gut's day job. It breaks down the food we eat and helps us absorb nutrients and also make sure the leftovers are shown the exit. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Our gut is also a major player in our immune system. Think of it as the body's own superhero team, where the gut microbes are the unsung heroes keeping the peace and fending off the bad guys, aka harmful bacteria. A healthy gut flora means you're better equipped to fight off infections and diseases. It's like having your own internal security system. Then there's the mental health angle. Ever heard of the gut-brain connection? Well, it's not just a fancy term. Our gut actually communicates with our brain thanks to a network of neurons, hormones, and chemicals. This means a happy gut can contribute to a happy mood. So if your gut is out of whack, it might not just be your stomach that feels off, but your mood can take a hit too. Keeping your gut in tip-top shape is crucial for your overall well-being. It's not just about avoiding stomach aches, it's about supporting your body's defense systems, your mood, and general health. Plus, when your gut is happy, you're more likely to feel energetic and ready to tackle whatever the day throws at you. It's a win-win situation. All right, let's first dive into this whole prebiotics thing, shall we? Imagine prebiotics as the ultimate health food for your gut buddies, those trillions of bacteria hanging out in your digestive system. These aren't just any snacks. They're specifically designed to fuel the good bacteria in your gut. You see, when you feed them, they thrive, multiply, and keep the bad guys in check. It's like throwing a gourmet party where only the coolest microbes are invited, ensuring your gut ecosystem is buzzing with the right crowd. Now, where does honey fit into this picture? Let's dive deep into the sweet world of honey, but not just any honey, the kind that actually does your gut some good. We will get into the specifics in a little bit. I've got three studies for you today, my friends, two of which are hot off the presses. We're talking very new research. Be sure to stay all the way to the end of this episode. The last study is something you definitely want to know about. We're talking futuristic information. I know, I know. Hang in there, friends. Delving into the scientific sphere reveals some fascinating insights into how honey acts not just as a sweet treat, but as a promoter of gut health through its prebiotic properties. One of the cornerstone studies in this field was published in the journal Frontiers in Nutrition in 2022, where researchers explored the prebiotic potential of various honey types. Diving into the sweet world of honey, scientists have uncovered something pretty incredible. Certain types of honey, especially those brimming with oligosaccharides, are like a superfood for your gut's good bacteria. Think of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium as the gut's superheroes. These tiny allies are key players in keeping our digestive system humming smoothly and our immune defenses up and running. Think of oligosaccharides as the VIP food for your gut bacteria. They're not easily broken down by our digestive system, which means they make it down to the colon where most of the beneficial bacteria are having a party waiting for their next meal. When you drizzle that honey into your tea or over your yogurt as I love to do, you're essentially sending a direct invite to those beneficial bacteria giving them the resources they need 
to flourish. Here's the cool part. As these bacteria chow down on the honey's oligosaccharides, they produce all sorts of beneficial compounds. We're talking short chain fatty acids, which are like the gut's version of renewable energy. They help maintain the integrity of your gut lining, making sure that it's strong enough to keep out harmful substances and reduce inflammation. So not only does honey make things taste better, but it's also working behind the scenes to keep your gut microbiome in tip top shape. This peek into honey's hidden talents isn't just fascinating, it's a beacon of hope for anyone keen on giving their gut health a natural boost. The researchers are not just talking shop, they're laying down a challenge to dive deeper into honey's potential as a gut health champion, bridging the gaps in our understanding and reimagining ways to nourish and nurture our gut microbiome. Honey doesn't stop there. It's knack for knocking out germs, guarding cells from oxidative stress, soothing inflammation, and patching up wounds is well documented. Honey's secret weapon? Its ability to launch a multi-front attack on harmful microbes, making it a tough opponent for even the most drug-resistant bad guys. This might be just why these microscopic troublemakers can't seem to outsmart honey. And when it comes to our gut's well-being, honey is like a protective barrier, keeping at bay harmful bacteria that cause food poisoning and other nasties. It's like having a personal bodyguard for your gut, preventing unwanted invaders from settling in and causing chaos. Honey's rich tapestry of phenolic compounds not only shields our cells, but also brings its antioxidant A-game with darker honey hinting at even greater health boosting prowess. These same compounds give honey its power to calm inflammation, showing us that this natural wonder is not just about sweetness. It's a full-fledged health ally. Our microbiome is so vitally important for our health. Research is starting to show us that the tiny creatures living in our guts could be playing a big role in cancer, especially colorectal cancer. What's fascinating is how Manuka honey is stepping into this battle against cancer. Okay, friends, the second study I want to highlight was published in the journal Frontiers in Immunology in February of this year, 2024. Very new data, my friends. I had to interrupt today's video to let you know I have a new ebook, The Ultimate Gluten-Free Guide. This ebook is completely free, packed with so many tips, tricks, and recipes. Link is in the show notes. Check it out. Make sure to grab a copy for yourself. Now, back to today's video. After giving Manuka honey to some lab mice for four weeks, scientists noticed it was like sending a cleanup crew into the gut, reducing some of the bacteria that can make cancer worse, like enterococcus and bacterioids, which are known troublemakers. These bad bacteria can cause inflammation and even help cancer grow by messing with our immune cells or pumping out harmful substances. But it's not all about kicking out the bad guys. Manuka honey also rolls out the welcome mat for bacteria that are good for us, boosting those that help keep our gut and body healthy. For example, it helped increase levels of ruminococcus, which are like the peacekeepers of the gut, producing substances that keep cancer at bay and even help other friendly bacteria thrive. This dance between bacteria in our gut isn't just interesting science. It could be a game changer in how we fight cancer. Some bacteria are like undercover agents for cancer, helping it hide or grow, while others are like our body's own superhero team, fighting off the bad guys. And what we eat, like Manuka honey, could be helping to decide who wins? More and more practitioners are realizing that the mix of bacteria in our guts might even influence how well cancer treatments work. Some patients respond better to treatments because of their gut buddies. So tweaking what's going on in there inside of our gut might not just prevent cancer, 
but could also make treatments more effective. The study shines a light on how Manuka honey might just be the underdog hero in our fight against cancer. The journey starts with some groundbreaking experiments where Manuka honey taken orally seems to give the immune system a bit of a nudge, kind of like whispering secrets on how to better fight cancer, particularly through something called IFN signaling. Here's the kicker. When mice battling colorectal cancer get a daily dose of Manuka honey, their tumors start dragging their feet, growing slower. But wait, there's more. Manuka honey didn't just sit back after that. It went deep into the tumor cells, stirring things up at a cellular level and tweaking the immune and inflammation chemicals. This cranked up the body's ability to fight tumors. Manuka honey also played the hero in the gut, boosting the good bacteria and sending the bad ones packing. Here's a twist. The study leaned on a particular tumor model. Diving into more varied cancer scenarios could really beef up these insights. Interestingly, even though Manuka honey didn't bulk up the number of immune cells, it got them into fight mode, as shown by markers like SCA1. This whole immune system pep talk by Manuka honey might begin in the gut, suggesting a fantastic voyage from gut health to battling tumors, possibly via a pathway invoking toll-like receptors. These are the body's lookout points, sounding the alarm when invaders are spotted, which then rallies the immune troops. Also, Manuka honey's knack for mixing up the gut bacterial lineup could be key. The right bacterial crew can supercharge our immune cells against tumors. Thanks to Manuka honey's rich content of oligosaccharides and polyphenols, it's like feeding the good microbes while blocking the baddies at the door. Despite a few hitches, like the study's small scale or the honey dose that it was a rodent model, the message is crystal clear. Manuka honey might just be the dark horse in cancer prevention and treatment. It's not only throwing punches directly at tumors, but possibly tuning up the immune system for a better fight by working magic through our gut bacteria. Okay, friends, the third study I wanted to highlight is hot off the presses. I mean, just published a 2024 review published in the journal Food Chemistry looked at studies from the last five years. This review brings the latest insights into the chemical makeup, health effects ranging from lab tests to animal studies and human trials, and innovative functional ingredients of Manuka honey. To gather this information, the authors searched through extensive databases such as PubMed, Science Direct, Web of Science, and Google Scholar, covering the period from 2018 to 2023. Diving into the world of Manuka honey feels like stepping into a treasure trove of natural wonders. From what's been gathered in a bunch of lab tests, animal studies, and trials with actual people, Manuka honey is pretty much a superhero in the honey world. It's packed with goodies like flavonoids, MGO, that's methyl glycoxyl for the science buffs, oligosaccharides, and leptosin, which are the magic behind its power to fight off oxidation, microbes, inflammation, and even cancer, not to mention its skills in healing wounds and boosting the immune system. These components don't just hang around. They get busy influencing various cellular signaling pathways, particularly those that deal with inflammation and immune responses. While Manuka honey has been strutting its stuff in the lab, translating these findings into real world benefits still has a bit of catching up to do. The interaction between Manuka honey and some drugs have shown promise for a dynamic duo effect against microbes and cancer, but the specifics of how they team up at the molecular level are still a bit of a mystery. Clinical trials trying to understand Manuka honey's power face their own set of hurdles, like not enough participants or a limited range of health aspects being studied. And when Manuka honey is put head to head with 
other honeys, it's clear that Manuka honey packs a unique punch in terms of what it contains and how it works. However, comparing these honeys isn't straightforward thanks to different ways of collecting samples, analyzing them, and interpreting data, making consistency a bit of a challenge. On the brighter side, Manuka honey is making waves beyond the jar. It's being eyed as a potential powerhouse ingredient in foods, medicine, beauty products, and more thanks to its antioxidant and antimicrobial properties. Here's where it gets futuristic. I told you you'd want to stay to the end to hear this information. Are you ready? This is so cool. Machine learning and AI are starting to play a role in sniffing out fake Manuka honey and could revolutionize how we study its effects from predicting toxicity and safety to identifying which clinical markers and health outcomes it might influence. But to get there, we need to stock up on high quality data and get a firm grip on what AI can and can't do. Plus, developing natural language processing, NLP, datasets is key for using AI to dig deeper into Manuka Honey's clinical research potential. So while the journey of uncovering all of Manuka Honey's secrets is well underway, there's still plenty of uncharted territory to explore. I am such a science nerd. Who's with me? As we wrap up our dive into the world of honey, it's clear that this natural wonder is not just a treat for the taste buds, but a boon for gut health. The research we've delved into paints a picture of a future where honey, in particular Manuka honey, plays a key role in nurturing our gut microbiome, the very foundation of our health and wellness. Manuka honey's potential to enhance immune responses and combat pathogens in the gut underscores the power of natural remedies in our quest for health. It's a reminder that sometimes the most effective solutions are crafted by nature itself. If you enjoyed this conversation, I really think you're gonna enjoy the next one. I put it up right here and I will see you over there.